Hello and welcome to another Mew Mew blog thingy. Today we have another session of Mew Mew trivia, this time discussing the Mew Mew's elements and the various weapons used in the show. As some of you know, almost every weapon the Mew Mews have are based on musical instruments. Ichigo's straw bell bell is obviously a bell, and her powers are based on love, or you could say, heart! Mew Mint's weapon, the Mint Tone Arrow, is modeled after a lyre, or lyra, or however you want to pronounce it. With the clues given through her weapon name, Mint Tone, the sound waves coming from the weapon when she's charging up an attack, and the word Echo in her attack name, her element is sound. As the name says, Mew Lettuce's weapon, the Lettuce Tanets, are castanets, and her element is water. Not much I can say for that one. Mew Pudding's weapon, the Poo Ring Rings, are a combination of a tambourine and a jingle bell. Seeing the trench she makes during her attack sequence, and how the ground came up and shielded her from a Chimera attack, her element is most likely Earth. Not many people were able to figure out Zakro's weapon, but if you look at it before the cross part appears, you'll notice that it resembles a flute, or piccolo. The round parts are flute keys, and the bigger round part is the mouthpiece. As for her element, some might point to fire due to it being a big part of her transformation sequence, but it was stated in the show that Zakro's element is light. On the manga side of things, it seems that the weapons didn't have any sort of theme to them in mind. Ichigo's straw bell bell was sort of the same, but the bell was missing unless the Mewberry rod was attached. The meat tone arrow, it had wings and the heart thing like the anime, but the strings were these two little swirly things. It didn't even resemble a bow in my opinion, I don't know. The color designs for the lettuce to nets were the same, but instead of castanets like they were supposed to be, they kind of look like these round, hacky sack, bean bag things. The pud ring rings were a couple of hula hoops, so I guess in a way they were still round and ring shaped. And there wasn't really much detail in the Zacross whip. It was a sort of cross shaped light thing that stretched out when she used it. Now we go to Ringo. Her weapon, the Apple Ticks, resemble maracas. Her element is a bit difficult from the others. Ringo was most likely created for the PlayStation game from the sole purpose of the fact that RPG games need a healer in the group. So they not only had a creator, but had to come up with an explanation as to how she's able to heal. Ringo, unlike the others, was not directly infused with animal DNA. She becomes a Mew Mew through a combination of her pet penguin's DNA and her Mew Aqua pendant. So she's able to heal the others with ribbon apple pop with the Mew Aqua she possesses. She also has attacks related to music, so it seems to be a mixture of a healer and sharing the sound element with Mew Mint. Then we go to Barry. The instrument designs of the weapons were not introduced in the manga until Chapter 4 of Alamode. So Barry's weapon, the Love Berry Rod, doesn't seem designed with any instrument in mind. Another possible reason why there wasn't an instrument design was because, like Masha with the Mew Aqua Rod in the manga, Barry's weapon was actually Ucha transformed. Although if you want to stretch it, you could say that it resembles a recorder. Maybe. As for her element, seeing as she's able to do a joint attack with Ichigo, and the fact that they share plenty of similarities, she most likely shares Ichigo's element of love. Now we go to the aliens. One thing they all have in common is their element of electricity, although Pi seems to have more elemental abilities, such as ice and wind. So we'll mainly discuss their weapons. We'll start with Kish. In the manga he uses Tone Fuzz, which are usually made of wood and is used in both defensive and offensive fighting. You also need to know hand-to-hand -hand combat in order to use these effectively. Unlike his anime counterpart, Kish in the manga didn't use any electric attacks. In the anime, his weapon is changed to a pair of scythes that he's named the Dragon Swords, which he uses for combat and to shoot lightning, and he doesn't have any named attacks. Kish was also the one to come up with the idea of merging the parasite aliens with human spirits. Pai and Tart's weapons may look simple, but they are based on real-life weapons disguised as everyday items. For Pai, while he doesn't have a weapon in the manga, his fan in the anime could be based off a Tessin or a Goombai, 
A tessin was designed to fold and open like an everyday hand fan, but was actually made of heavy plates of iron which could be used to fend off weapons or to throw at enemies. A goombai is a larger, unfoldable fan made of solid iron with a wooden core, which was used to block weapons and signal troops. Pai's weapon resembles a goombai more. It's unfoldable, and even though he uses it for elemental attacks, he also uses it to give signals to chimeras. When it comes to chimeras, Pai specializes in creating hybrids, or homegrown in a lab. Tart's weapon when not in battle resemble clacker toys, but when he uses them, they take the form of bolas that he names the treasure spheres. While using them to send out electrical attacks, he also uses them for their original purpose, to entangle his opponents. Originating in the Americas, these were mainly used to round up cattle or for hunting. And in the manga, his weapon was only seen once in the final battle. While not as strong as the other two, Tart has the unique ability to create plant chimeras, and can control the growth and movement of plants as well. I can't really talk about Deep Blue or Get Toe since they don't have weapons, so I guess that ends today's Mew Mew blog thingy. If there are any Mew Mew topics you want me to talk about, put it in the comments below. Next time we'll continue the trivia with changes and localizations from various Mew Mew dubs.